The Kazakh people are known for attaching their daughters high status and respect in society. This fact is confirmed by the ritual when a good dowry was prepared for the young girls before they get married. Why it is done? After all, people wanted to ensure their daughters worthy status and to establish way of life in a new place after marriage. Hello, you're watching the program Kazakh Life Duster with Tamara Asar. Today we will discuss the theme of the bride's dowry. So let's begin. Our first guest, Konanbekova Aitkul. Honored teacher, worthy wife and loving mother. Welcome, Aitkul. Today we will talk about the dowry of the bride. It's good. All our traditions and customs are connected with our way of life, but the dowry issue occupies a special place. How many children do you have? How many daughters did you give in marriage? I have three daughters and a son. I gave in marriage all my daughters. It's well known among our people. Parents cherish and treat well their daughters before they get married. They realize that when daughters marry, they will leave their home forever. In order, their daughter started a new life with dignity. Parents prepared a solid dowry. I also prepared for my daughter's worthy dowry in the form of national colored blankets and bedding made by hand. Do you sew them yourself, not by order? Yes, I made them myself. My grandmother taught me how to sew kurak blankets, tekimets. I was also taught to shear sheep, how to process and how to make sheep wool. There are five sisters in my family, and all of us have been taught domestic crafts. Our grandmother made a dowry for all five granddaughters. Kurak is made of various shreds of fabric, and in the national concept symbolizes the unity and cohesion of the family. It is believed that the availability of these household items protects and supports the well-being of the family. Yes, the Kazakhs have long been practicing non-waste production. It's good. You're right. There was non-waste production. We make kurak of different kinds of fabrics. Various parts and cuts, various colored pieces of fabric are used. It's very important. Green color symbolizes spring flowering plants. Red means love and red blood. You know, blood is a symbol of procreation. White is a symbol of height and ascent. Blue is the color of the sky. Yellow color symbolizes knowledge and wisdom. The combination of all these colors creates a unique, beautiful mosaic. It's like space. Great. By the way, the space theme is not accidental. It means that the universe is in our hands. The patterns we make are triangular, quadrangular, and pentagonal. Triangular patterns mean well-being and prosperity in the family. Pentagonal patterns mean the baby in the cradle, the continuation of the tribe and its unity. All this in the spiritual world of the Kazakh people has a deep, special meaning. 
And what about the quadrangular pattern? Korak in the quadrangular form means the prosperity and protection of the family. The family hearth on four sides. When I gave my daughters to marriage, I sewed the pattern Kunkurak as well as Shemishke, which means that they have as many children as if scattered seeds. Wonderful. I prepared Kurak Kurpe wishing them a long and happy life. I made some patterns in the shape of a circle with a heart and the tulip sewn inside. All these patterns symbolize well-being, unity, and health. Here I used red and yellow colors. They say yellow color symbolizes wealth. Yes, you're right. Red color means love. So you use different details of the patterns for your daughters. By the way, I did not try to surpass anyone in preparing the dowry. We tried to avoid excessive luxuriousness. We agreed on all issues in advance with our co-parents-in-law. The Kazakhs attach special importance to the bride's dowry. Its presence demonstrated the bride's status and authority. However, what is the essence of the dowry? I would answer as follows. A young girl after getting married leaves her homeland forever. She will have to live in a completely different place. She can feel longing and estrangement. The presence of her own things in everyday life will remind her of native home, her loved ones, and will also give her confidence in a new place. Aitkul, were your daughters glad with your preparation of the dowry, bedding and blankets? Probably they were positive about that. Here I want to stress the following. At one time, 35 years ago, my mother also prepared a dowry for me. Among things, there was a plush blanket with flowers. After that, many kinds of blankets were used in our family, and the blanket sewn by my mother is still kept and used. My mother has died long ago, but the blanket constantly reminds me of her. That blanket is the greatest and best gift for me from my mother. Thank you for participating in our program. Let things made by your hands serve your children for a long time for the good. Let a worthy young generation grow up in our country. Thank you. I sincerely wish all mothers the same happiness, the opportunity to prepare for happy events in the lives of their children. Good luck, everyone. Good. continue our program in the wedding salon Svadba Dat Kizet. Now there is a guest from Shimkent in our studio. She's a prominent wedding toastmaster with 28 years of experience, a poetess and favorite figure of the public. Kurmanai Bakhtiar Khza. Welcome. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you for inviting me to the program, which is so important in terms of national education. It's very relevant for our young ladies. Thank you for touching upon such a very important topic. Good words. Yes, we are really happy. I wanted to take part in such a TV program for a long time. Dreams do come true. 
Well, we are glad too. I hope that we will receive a lot of useful information from you. You also recently gave your daughter in marriage, and you already have a grandson, in spite of your young age. What did you present to your daughter as a dowry? It turns out that it's much easier to give in marriage a son rather than a daughter. Really, it turns out so, especially at the present time. I presented my daughter bedding, clothes, furniture, and utensils as part of a dowry. We presented worthy gifts for the groom's relatives. How many blankets and bedding types should be presented? We cannot decide it. Previously, nine blankets and a dowry, two covers for a chest, and so on were prepared. Now it takes place rarely. I prepared modern warm blankets. If they want, they can present them to their mother-in-law or father-in-law. You just talked about Toy. You often attend entertainment events. For 28 years of your work, it's impossible to calculate the number of celebrations. I didn't count either. Giving a girl in marriage is always exciting. I had a chance to participate in a dowry party in Shimkent, and there I was surprised by what I saw. In the south of our country, everything is somehow different. Tell me about it, please. The dowry is gathered within the whole day. All relatives gather for this party. All of them bring some items and clothes to be added in the bride's dowry. Do men participate? No, men do not participate in the party. Joint collection of dowry things helps to ease the financial burden on the bride's family. Within one day, all dowry parts are demonstrated. Is one day allocated for this event? <laughs> Yes, it is. Everyone takes part in this event. This party embodies mutual support between relatives. After all, Kazakhs are trying to take part in all the celebrations. Kazakhs have a good expression. Start collecting welfare from six years old and you will live in abundance. Start collecting welfare from seven years old and you will live in prosperity. By the way, in the past, our grandmothers began to collect a dowry for their daughters for many years to come. How does this process go now? This is not practiced currently. Modern rules have made adjustments to this process. Currently, parents place funds on bank deposits or invest in any assets. In the word, they invest money. Many people think that over time, money will increase in this way for the benefit of children in the future. Such new trends are being observed now. Recently, there is such a trend when there is no need to prepare a dowry in the form of bedding and household items. Parents simply transfer the accumulated money to the young couple or buy them an apartment. They do not give a dowry in the traditional way. What is your opinion about that? Well, the dowry can be presented later, after the purchase of a housing. What is essential first? First, primarily tableware, chests, clothes and furniture are necessary. So the tableware, chests, clothes and five, six blankets. Household appliances can be added. When my mother was 18 years old, her father, thinking about her future marriage, bought her a small, beautiful carpet measuring 1.5 by two meters. He did this as a good view in those pastimes. This carpet is still hanging in my house. Looking at it, I always remember my relatives. So what do our girls know about the dowry? Do they use it? Yes, my daughters still use dowry items. When I visit them, we use the tableware that I presented. In my opinion, the essence of dowry is very important in the formation of a new family. It contributes to general education, of course. In the past, all people collected the dowry items. I didn't prepare the dowry because my daughter herself gathered it. It's wonderful. I was also surprised at my daughter's approach to the wedding process. She helped me very much. It's wonderful when there is a mutual understanding and support between children and parents. 
in this regard. Kurmanay, our conversation can last for a long time. There are two guests in our studio, Gudzira and Raushan. They are preparing a diary for the daughters. Let's join them. Yes, of course. Let's go and see. Let's see what they put in the diary. Here's everything necessary for life is accurately put and prepared. This very positively characterizes the Kazakh craftswoman. Today, Guzira and Raushan are preparing a set of dowry for their daughter Arujan. I see eminent craftswoman gathered here. Let's start the party. Today, we give in marriage our daughter Arujan and prepare the dowry for her. Here is the blanket of love. I congratulate you. May it bring happiness. Here is a blanket for a young family. As you can see, there is an image of a shanurak as a symbol of family happiness. The blanket is made of camel wool. I remember the pillows that my mother made for me. She wished me and my husband to live happily ever after. As my daughter wished, we prepared two separate pillows. In general, first, it was one common pillow. There is one cover where two pillows can be put in. Dear viewers, I will share important information. A blanket of love is made from camel wool. It's warm in winter and cold in summer. It's important to know that things made from camel wool should not be placed under the legs or under the lower body. Yes, I sincerely wish you good luck. All the same, giving daughters a marriage sets a challenge for parents. There is much to do, much to prepare. Perhaps this conveys definite meaning of life. <laughs> Wonderful. Let the guests gather in the house of our daughter Arujan only for good occasions. With this wish, we have prepared such beautiful korak blanket. It's also upholstered in silk. We made them so that they could be opened and removed for washing. We also made five large bedding pieces for use in case the family welcomes a large number of guests. There are also five pillows so that guests can sit on the floor leaning on them or laying them under body. <laughs> We also added several different pattern small pillows. It's wonderful. Here's a blanket for a co-mother-in-law. Kazakhs, after all, highly respect co-parents-in-law and they're seated at honorable places at a party. Therefore, appropriate blankets for co-parents-in-law are prepared. After all, they are made for pleasant leisure and conversation. Yes, certainly. The Kazakhs say in such cases, be with the co-father-in-law as a friend and with the co-mother-in-law as a soulmate. It's no secret that such rituals and traditions give rise to good relations between two families in the future. It's beautiful. Let it bring happiness. There are pillows sewn especially for co-parents-in-law. They are very beautiful. Mm, 
There are also soft cushions with traditional ornaments sewn by modern techniques. We also sew such small round pillows to put under the side or under the elbow when resting. We are prepared such beautiful khurakurpi for guests. <laughs> In general, we prepared nine blankets for Arujan. The number nine symbolizes a fortunate number according to popular beliefs. Seven, nine, eleven are lucky numbers, and we try to do everything exactly in this amount. This, of course, applies to different regions of our country. Actually, the set of dowry in different parts of the country differs. For example, in the western regions, 10-15 blankets are presented. There are large blankets, which are intended for a large number of guests. And in Almaty, this is done in a slightly different way. Great! We also prepared modern sets of tableware and necessary kitchen utensils. After all, in the past, Kazakhs made kitchenware from leather and wood, preferably from oak or birch. No coloring materials were used, and here is a large round serving dish or tray for serving meat dishes. It's called astau. It's made of natural wood, oak, which characterizes its useful properties. As you know, any tableware when serving hot dishes in it darkens and dulls over time, loses its original appearance. To avoid this, dishes are made from very high quality metal materials and expensive wood. By the way, such dishes should not be washed with soap. It can only be rinsed with boiling water or hot broth. Boiling water was poured into the broth. It could not be poured out on the soil. This is, by the way, as we said earlier, non-waste production, which the Kazakh people attach to. And there are the meat holders as part of a stow. Pay attention to the production technology of this ware. It's unique. And this dish is especially intended to serve sheep's head, treats for the most honored guests according to folk traditions. After all, this dish is served primarily to them. There is a tableware made in the form of a sheep horns. It's also a symbol of well-being. They are filled with traditional feast drinks, for example, kumis. Here's a set of six bowls. Here are dishes for sweets. Here's a set of tableware for 12 people. Also, there are modern appliances, an iron, a microwave, and a washing machine. In general, everything necessary for a young family was acquired by decision of the family council. Wonderful. As a rule, the bride's dowry shouldn't surpass the bride price, but the chest is an essential part of the dowry. The bride's parents can present a chest or simply bedding set. If the bride's parents are wealthy enough, they present it also holder for bedding in the yurt. A large chest, abdiria, and a simple small chest. Abdiria is the largest chest that can be presented as part of a dowry. The bride can keep many clothes, as well as other important things in it. Our aim is to revive our Asian traditions, but traditions should keep their initial purpose without violating it, but realizing them in more modern way. Let our young newlyweds be happy, let their families be strong, let the dowry serve for families for a long time.
Kazakhs say everything in nature should be equal to each other. Therefore, the amount of bride price should be equal to a dowry. We wish happiness to the newlyweds. You watch the Kazakh Live Duster program with Tamara Asar. See you soon. Amon <laughs>